Today I'm making my own batch of ferrous ammonium sulfate. It's supposed to help uh, green up of the grass and I'm gonna make it at a mix of 42.45 grams of uh, ferrous sulfate and 36 grams of ammonium sulfate. I just switched to grams, didn't I? For my about 1,500 square feet here, the ammonium sulfate is there as a kind of like a kicker to, to help the iron. Also going to make a control I'm gonna put this piece of cardboard here down on grass and spray over it so I could compare um, how, how effective this really is. Or I could see if it straight up doesn't work. Who knows? I don't know. People just told me it's supposed to work. I don't even know if it does. Let's get to it. All right, so let's put uh, 42, about 42 and a half grams of ferrous sulfate on the scale. Stuff looks so that's what my application rate looks like. Some chunks in there. All right, now we're gonna put in uh, 36 grams of uh, ammonium sulfate. Thirty-six grams of ammonium sulfate. Don't confuse ammonium sulfate with aluminum sulfate. Not that I would do that, but I'm just saying. Whoa! Whoa there he goes. A little bit of surfactant here. That's probably good. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, make sure you have the snake sucker on tight enough, otherwise it'll leak. Yeah. Like I said last time, Usually, operator error in this thing leaks. Yeah, not leaking the least bit. You are going super fast. Watch where you're going. So I have a control point right here, and the same thing, this right over here. Cut out like that. And I might as well do another one up there for the, for the heck of it. Forty-eight hours later, and voila, no difference. Same as right here. Same as up here, which was not nearly as green, but no difference. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and apply double the rate I put down last time.
four days later, voila. Can't see it here, but there is a slight difference. The Bewitched is about five, 10% darker green where I treated it in Mazama. Here, you could hardly tell the difference. Over here, pretty big difference right here. This is this uh, crazy blend of everything, including Mazama and Bewitched. I've just kind of thrown all my extra seed in this area. And up here, can you see it? Right there. But to me, it's not dark enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same rate as I applied the second round. There you go. It's turning into this weird green color. Shake vigorously. That is vigorously shaken. Wow. That'll be a test to see if it uh, stains. May 19th, nine days later, and let's take a look at the results. And <laughs> there they are. It actually looks better the unapplied. Let me show you a closer look of the effects. Okay, so here's a line between the Mazama and the Bewitched. Right here and down is all, uh, are all untreated. And right here you can see the line coming this way of the uh, treated and the untreated area. And the line over here is right here. Untreated, treated. Here's an uh, area right across from the hell strip. And this actually looks better. It's the same rate, but it looks actually as an improvement up here. It's a little too lime green. Is This is all Kentucky bluegrass right here. You can see the line right there. And I would say it actually looks better untreated over here. Or So I'm going to have to experiment again with this up here. All right, some key takeaways. What I've learned in this experiment, which I am super glad I did, I have no, no regrets here, is um, go slower and take your time. I thought two days was enough to reapply some uh, applications and I also doubled it up because I was impatient. And uh, so in the future, I'm going to apply one ounce of ferrous sulfate per thousand square feet at a time. And I'm gonna wait maybe four days or more to see its effects and then reapply as needed until I find the sweet spot. And once I find the sweet spot, say after two, three applications, I'll know, well, okay, two ounces is the max I want to apply to my lawn. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. It is May 19th, nine days later. Car. <sighs> Who's gonna come here, I'll help you? Trace. Help it's red versus blue. Red versus blue? Yeah. Blue is blue. Yes, red versus blue. Not applied. Blue. The area I left, uh, ugh. Ugh.